And we are learning more about a deadly crash involving an Amtrak train and a tractor trailer. The crossing south of Jackson where it happened does not have warning devices. 12 News Anthony Howard is live at the crash site with an update. Jay, you can see behind me right now, there are still crews working to clean up debris from that crash that happened yesterday. And according to the Hines County coroner, the two men who died in the collision have been identified as James, James Krill of Lake Mississippi and Scott Harstock, who was from Florida. It's believed the tractor trailer the men were driving broke down on this railroad crossing leading to that crash. In a statement, Amtrak said none of the 142 passengers on board were injured and have been, uh, they have been issued alternate transportation. The train was traveling from New Orleans to Chicago. And the railroad crossing has no warning lights or traffic or arms to alert drivers about an oncoming train. I reached out to the Mississippi Department of Transportation and they told me that this is a private crossing and directed me to reach out to Canadian National Railroad Company and I'm still waiting on a response. Now I spoke to a lady who lives in the area and she said she would like to see railroad crossing, especially being a mother, and she worries about the lives of others. Live in Byron, Anthony Howard, 12 News.